And flowers can feel when bees are near and emit more scent. Indian scientists develop a sensor that can detect explosives swiftly. And a study discovers startling amount of microplastics in the faces of babies. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. So let's move on to story number one. Can flowers sense the approaching bees? Scientists have found that flowers can indeed sense when a bee is nearby and release a whiff of fragrance to attract more insects. Well, bees release a small electrical charge when they come into contact with the petals and experts believe this allows them to carry more pollen, making them more effective as pollinators. Dr. Clara Montgomery from the University of Bristol found that soon after contact starts, the plant actually expels more fragrance than usual. Flowers have a limited amount of these scents, so it makes sense that they only release them when pollinators are around, she said. Basically, it's only worth advertising when you know you have an audience. Other cues they might use such as daylight or temperature may be unreliable as it may be windy or raining, reducing the presence of pollinators. These scents are used by insects that want to eat or lay eggs on the plant. So increasing their chances of attracting only pollinators is vital. The electrical charge on a bumblebee is 120 picocolumns and in the experiments, it took 600 pico columns or 5 visits for the violet petunia to release an extra dose of its precious aromatic payload. The study is published in the journal The Science of Nature. And let's move on to story number 2. And in a development that could be of immense use in criminal investigations, Indian scientists have come up with a thermally stable and cost-effective electronic polymer-based sensor for rapidly detecting nitro-aromatic chemicals used in high-energy explosives. Though the explosive polynitro-aromatic compounds can be analyzed very well, using sophisticated instrumental techniques, the quick decision in making in criminology laboratories or reclaimed military sites or to trace explosives in possession of extremists often require simple cheap and selective field techniques which will be non-destructive in nature. A team of scientists led by Dr. Nilot Pal Sen Sharma from the Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology, Gohati, an autonomous institute of the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, has filled the gap. They have developed a layer-by-layer -layer polymer detector. The tri-layer polymer matrix was found to be very efficient, molecular sensor for nitro-aromatic chemicals. The sensor device is quite simple and reversible in nature and its response does not alter with varying operating temperature in presence of other common chemicals and humidity. The device can be operated at room temperature, has a low response time and negligible interference from other chemicals. The fabrication is a very simple, is a very negligibly affected by humidity and the cholesterol-based polymers used are biodegradable. The detection of explosives without destroying them is essential for protection and criminal investigations, minefield remediation, military applications, ammunition, remediation sites, security applications and chemical sensors play a vital role in such case. And now let's move on to story number three. Well, microplastics, which are tiny fragments of plastics less than 5 mm in size, are everywhere. Even what should be untouched wildernesses, the icy plains of Antarctica, the crushing depths of the deepest ocean chasms have been polluted by our garbage. So, it's no surprise that we ingest plastic too. It's been found in our feces, probably as a result of eating from plastic containers. But a new pilot study has found something borderline shocking. Infants' tools contain up to 10 times higher concentrations of a microplastic called polyethylene terephthalate than adults. Both adult and infant samples contained roughly the same average level of polycarbonate microplastics. And according to the research published in Environmental Science and Technology Letters Journal of the American Chemical Society, the research warns that while 
human exposure to microplastics and the health effects thereof are of global concern. Little is known about the magnitude of exposure. Infants could be exposed to higher levels of microplastics through their extensive use of products such as bottles, teethers and toys. According to the researchers, but they say larger studies are needed to corroborate these findings. And with this, it's a wrap of this edition of Science Time. We'll be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Do watch Science Time every Friday at 9 p.m. only on India Science. Namaskar. <laughs>